Ride down. What could possibly go wrong? Whee! Everybody. Hello. I'm Cryptic Enigma and this is Nubicus Maximus. I am Scrufficus Maximus because I haven't shaved in like a week. So shocked. So shocked. <laughs> We're going to be doing um, some West of Loathing again. So I get to be doing a lot of the reading today. So I've sorry got, everybody. I've got a cold so <laughs> I'm not going to be talking much. I'm just here to make fun of her. Pretty much. So we have a bunch of leveling up that we did. Yeah. Um, we also got a couple of things um, from leveling up. We have Desert Eaten and Drinking. What was the other one? Get Cracking a Guide to Modern Safes. You still have to read that too. Yeah. We also got um, one of the guys was looking for a hat, like a yeah. Civil War era hat. I got that. And basically, all we did was in um, one of the forts. I don't, whatever fort we're in right now, there's a pit. If you fort all dead. In, yeah, fort all dead. If you pit. go into the pit, you just fight a whole bunch of skeletons. And I just did that over and over and over again for like four hours. So, I'm going to read this one. Woohoo! Got still safe cracking. Time to get cracking. Woohoo! When you're done reading it, you lock it up in a safe that turns out to be slightly too difficult for you to crack, so it's gone forever. <laughs> Apparently you needed it more. These people really digest information, like on a literal level. They just sort of eat it, and then there's nothing left. Mm-hmm. Desert eaten and drinking. This book contains everything you need to know. Um, get the foragen skill. Cool. You read the book and learn all sorts of tricks of squeezing extra stuff out of cactuses and whatnot. Sweet. Unfortunately, while practicing your techniques, you accidentally squeeze a book into book juice, which turns out is a real thing. Aww. Sounds tasty, though. Yeah. Um, so we can do foraging and safe cracking. Take two. Old patrol cap. Alright. Cool. So, um, we can give the guy either that smelly, disgusting one or the other one, I guess. So. <laughs> the disgusting one. Alright, so that was at Lazy Dude Ranch. Was it? Yes. I think so. You have a run in with the worst smelling snake you've ever seen. It's basically <laughs> cartoon stink line come to life. Hold your nose and fight it. <laughs> You're both pretty strong right now. Unfortunately, in doing that, all of our bad guys got stronger too. Mm, a little bit. Alright, stink venom bladder. Alrighty. Lazy at Dude Ranch. Yes! Alright, strange head sex. Sweet! <laughs> nice, man. Barter is like commerce, man, except natural. Yeah, that's true. Barter is commerce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. They, the, 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 why does it stand straight up? I have my to do list of stuff. Which you can't see. We have a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm going to cross that off the list. Alrighty. Um, we just went through the editing of several of these today, so as she was going through the editing, she's make, marking notes of things we need to do. Lost touch of in mine. Yeah, I figured I'd try to be a little bit productive, get some of these things done, done. And this was, we were blocked by a stench. Yeah, it's barely tolerable this time. Yeah, and we had 15% stench. So... Okay, miner's pants and gas mask. I, I'm thinking, could have used this five minutes ago. Yeah, I'm thinking if we equip yeah. the gas mask. Gas mask. Mine it still only gives 15% stench resistance. And we get negative, so we don't want to necessarily Yeah, we're actually that. better off with what we've got. Is that okay with you? That's fine. You're the one running this. The miners must have eaten down here to avoid the cinch upstairs. Grabs what's left. Instant grits, jelly to escargot, and cat's eye candy. Spittoon! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tobacco these miners are chewing, but it must have been extra, extra corrosive because this brass spittoon has a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath it where the spit leaked out. 
Although, oddly, it doesn't seem to be leaking now, Alan is half full. I guess the miners plugged the hole with something. Inspect oh, it. Oh, God. It's a spittoon. It's disgusting. You can practically see the stink lines coming off of it. Come on. Let's not do this. Inspect the spittoon. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay. You crouch down and carefully look at the filthy spittoon. Inside it's blackened with years worth of stains. The death broth inside has a rainbow sheen like a parking lot oil spill and occasionally a little bubble pops on the surface. You can you can actually feel the slight warmth radiating off of the surface from where <laughs> whatever dire chemical reaction is taking place in there. You realize you're holding your breath, not deliberately, but from the human body's natural instinct for self-preservation. Inhale. <laughs> Imagine someone made a pot of chili con carne and left it under the porch. Three rats crawled into the pot, ate half the chili, and then died. <laughs> a week later, a family of cockroaches takes up residence among the writhing maggots. The cockroaches smoke thick black cigars, which they light with tufts of burning human hair. That's what it smells like. Search it. <laughs> Fortunately for you, the rainbow-colored film on the surface of the liquid coats your hand as you plunge it into the toxic stew, keeping it from being immediately dissolved down to the bones. It smells and testifies, and your stomach prepares to hose the poisons off your arm with a high-pressure stream of vomit. Keep searching. Your fingers touch something at the bottom of the spittoon. Better pull it out fast while you still have something to pull with. Spit soap pants. How in the hell? <laughs> you pull the world's most disgusting pair of pants out, out of the spittoon and jump back as a hole of the spittoon of the bo bottom now unplugged begins to leak steaming filth. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now a proud owner of the worst object I've ever been paid to think about, narrowly defeating a leather, leather bondage harness made of a skin of a clown. <laughs> You got spit soap pants. Hooray! I'm thinking that's probably something you should not equip. Well, let's see. Upper left. Spit soap pants. Armor plus two, speed plus two. It's better. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Whatever happened to we need to be careful what we actually <laughs> equip? Well, it normally says if it's bad on on it. Spit soaked pants. Yeah, but it doesn't have any negatives or anything, and it doesn't say it's cursed. Anything labeled cursed, you do not touch. Nothing cursed. You do not want anything cursed. Or anything labeled evil. You don't want those either. Fit soaked is fine, but evil, um, cursed, and uh, murderous, you do not want. I mean, we had bean stained pants for a while. So. Very open. Lodestone ring. Thermos of spiked coffee and dynamite. Oil it. Ride down. Who could possibly go wrong? Whee! Ah! <laughs> you emerge from the elevator in a deep shaft. By the light of your lantern, you see exposed meat veins on nearly every surface. It's unusual that there would be this much readily available meat left in a working mine. What were they digging for if not this? Curious. Well, pick up the meat. Which sounds wrong. Woohoo! I love having the mine splaining. <laughs> you picked up away at the exposed meat deposit. You got an item, unrefined meat nugget. You gained 34 meat. Yay! Mine it. There's somebody over in the far right corner. Yep. He looks like he's having trouble with the sun. Or something. There's a couple of them. Actually, he's dancing. Uh-oh. Hi. Hi. This guy is totally out of it. He's gibbering and drooling and doesn't seem to even see you. Talk to him. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Uh-huh. You wave your hand in front of his face, but he doesn't react at all. Hmm. Sounds like a normal Tuesday for me. <laughs> Alrighty. There's a pit. Was one of the miners digging with his helmet? Um, it's a graboid. Shovels dulled to uselessness. 
A broken pickaxe. Oh, it looks like a miner died trying to dig deeper with their hands. Weird. An ominous ladder leading down to a deep, dark pit. Go for down. it. The finger bones are all splintered, and you start to feel very uneasy. You start to feel very uneasy. This gem is pretty, but smells terrible. Extract it. Effluvious emerald. This guy seems to have gnawed off his own hands before he died. Huh. No, our heart doesn't seem to be pounding. We're fine. The scratches are just painted on in blood. You have to get out of this pit right now. Liberate tutime. Hmm? There's like one in 85 of our viewers will get that reference, but they will, and they'll be like, Ah, oh, I get that! <laughs> this guy worked his fingers to the bone digging and then worked his bones to the marrow. You have to get out of this pit now. Couch marks are dark with blood. Um, I love how she's not even stopping. Like, no hesitation. Let's go forward. As you near the rocks, voices in your head begin screaming too loudly to ignore. You have to get out of this pit right now. Fine. I'm going. I'm going. There, ready? I'm out. I don't remember what we were actually supposed to be here for. You know what? I don't either. I think this was, might have been one that we saw. You didn't check that one. Another one. Lower. I think this is one that we saw with the... Uh, we just randomly found it, but don't know what we're there for. We found it with our disposable um, stuff. <laughs> Harvest! I can do that now. Blossom gin. Sweet! I guess I have to look for cacti, cacti now that I can harvest. Alrighty. I'm in cave. I haven't been there. <laughs> and mid thingy. You find an abandoned crate with Fort All Dead stenciled on the side. Maybe this shipper decided it wasn't worth the effort considering. Open with crate. Crowbar. Woohoo! You pry the lid off and help yourself to the contents. Can't let taxpayer funded material go to waste after all. Army Field Trauma Kit. Full canteens. Sweet! Three of them. Woohoo! Yeah. Da, 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 da. I love the horses' tracks. Yeah. Purple grass, woohoo! That was quick. Huh, these rocks are weirdly organized. Yes, they are. Hazing cave. Oh, is there anything in this bit? No. Eyes in the dark. Hi, snake! Hmm. Well, that was different. Bye, snake. I don't know why you can shoot lightning through your eyes. Because it's an electric <laughs> snake. You have put an end to the shocking tale of the shocking snake. Progress towards next skill up. Woohoo! Snake venom bladder. You got an electric snake skin. Sweet. It Hooray! keeps you warm automatically, but you do have to plug it in. Hmm. Can I go in that pit? No. Whoa, wait. Wait. Try. Woohoo! Oh, that would have been a way to do it without killing it. <laughs> oh well. What is that? It's huh. I'm somewhere. This looks dangerous? Yes, it does. Monolith is dark? <laughs> yes. Huge cave-in at some point. A weird device. Take it. Strange stone arrow. Okie dokie. Okay, I didn't know this was a science fiction western. Well, Star Trek. Cowboys vs. Aliens? You know, that movie had so much potential but just did not live up to it. I don't think I quite looked at everything. What? Apparently I can't get to that side. I think not. So, okay, well. That's the humming cave. Apparently it's got a alien spaceship, which is why it's humming. Um, okay. Right, well, <laughs> hello, crazy. I do love that horse. <laughs> Where's the All monastery? Right. The witch, there was two. Old witch, yeah, I think the rescue was the one that was the purple grass. Strange stone arrow you've just found starts going crazy, beeping <coughs> and whirling around on its own accord. It's 
practically drags you in the direction of a strange, decrepit-looking house. Professor's house. Okay. Not professor. Professor. Check out the house. I didn't even notice that. The beeping machine leads you to a ramshackle house in the middle of the desert. Hmm. Okay. Can I forge anything? Not that. Crap. <laughs> ah, I should be able to forge. Coffee! Cactus. Alrighty. It's part of there. Excuse me. My name's Bernadette Maverick. What? Oh, I didn't notice you come in. I'm used to visitors, but folks generally call me the professor. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I found this bleeping gizmo and sort of followed it to followed the beeping, and it led me here. Well, I'll be. It certainly led you to the right place, young lady. This is El Vibrato technology, and I happen to be as much of an expert as anyone alive today. El uh, what now? <laughs> Not sure we should ask. El Vibrato. They were an ancient race that lived here long before humans. Well, they mostly lived underground, so they might still be living as far as I know. Never seen a peep of actual person, though. Just machines they left behind. Were they space aliens? Could be alien. Or genius prehumans. Or an entirely different terrestrial evolutionary line. At this stage of investigation, it's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me have a closer look at your beeping gizmo. Give him advice. Ah, as I, as I suspected, <laughs> this is one of the transponders. It detects other Vel Barbrado technology and homes in, you see. That's why it led you here. I've got a thing I've been trying to repair. He tinkers around with the transponder for a bit and then puts a plugs a strange stone marble into a socket on it. There you go. Good news new. Just swipe up or down to turn it on or off. Sweet. Swipe. Now i got to warn you, this device will lead you to abandon El Vibrato technology, but it might also attract unwanted attention. From what? From El Vibrato technology. You'll see what I mean, just be careful. Okay. So apparently I'm going to be chased by aliens, too. Why not? <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, you arrived at, my, at a perfect time. In order to get anywhere further with my research, I need more samples of El Vibrato tech. But searching for it eats up all the time I could be using to research it. I get you. Right. You're the adventurer of some type, so bring me back whatever devices you find, and if I can get them up and running, they'll benefit both of us. All right, a deal. Great. First priority will be to get my keystone fabricator running. They locked their doors and things with these little stone alloy blo blocks, see? So if we can make our own, that'll open a lot of doors for us, literally and figuratively. All right, what do we need? The components aren't rare, but at least as far as priceless and ancient technology goes, bring me all five handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage the last parts I need from that much. Roger that. Okay, so we need scrap. <clears throat> we need scrap. This professor... Keystone Fabricator. He's waiting on some parts to finish it. Hint, hint. This dresser contains 10 instances of the exact same shirt and 20 identical socks. Boring. Bookshelf. Yes. These books are all about concepts too advanced for you to even recognize. I'm a cowpuncher. I like things simple. These books are so boring it's a wonder the shelf itself isn't full of holes. Ah. This appears to be an extremely powerful magnifying mirror, basically an inside-out microscope. Check yourself. The microscopic mites that live in your eyelashes seem to be getting along just fine. Sweet. Gain 5 <laughs> XP. <laughs> the professor's toilet isn't in very good repair. Flush it. Woohoo! Gain XP for flushing. <laughs> it's important, kids. Always flush. Yes. Yes, indeed. We were going to the rescue, rescue mission. mission. Because somehow we managed to get diverted south. Well, because the technology was going crazy. A burly, grizzled man in leather, well, everything, is busy peeling the skin off a no longer recognizable animal. 
He looks up at you and growls, brandishing his skinning knife, and <laughs> as if to say, bother me and you'll be next. Yeah, I got that. Show him your skin and knife. That's not a knife. This is. Don't be stupid. They're both knives. So you're a skinner too, huh? Well, not professionally or anything. It's a hobby, I guess. All right. Come over here and watch close. I'll show you a couple of tricks. Learn something. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you don't really understand the tricks, but they result in you getting some free skins and you're happy. Rattlesnake skin. Frisco viper skin. Woohoo! Cool. Yay! <laughs> He's not mean. He's nice. <laughs> Harvest. Blossom gin. Let's go in. Welcome back. Were you able to find the humming cave in purple grass? Yep, here you go. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Blessings upon you. Aw. I was thinking of next going to the other mission. Okay. We were supposed to go to the catacombs. Ah. <laughs> you find a flyer for a dynamite store up north. It's charred around the edges like it got blown here by an explosion. You mark the address down on your map. You discovered a new map location, Dynamite Dan's Discount Dynamite Dare House. It's south of where I was, so... Dynamite Dan's! Oh, you look like you got exploded. Like everything did. Hi! A year's supply of dynamite. Ooh, well, we don't need that, but at least we... It's good to know it's here. It is good to know it's here. So, hi Dan. Bye Dan. For reasons. Well, just in case, we do have plenty of dynamite, though. Yeah. Honestly. Yes. Um, we're going to the old mission. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> you crest a hill and see a skeleton propped up on its elbows, looking through a pair of binoculars. I guess it, he died before his craft binoculars. Woohoo! These will come in handy. They will also come in pairs, because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. I think we needed another pair of disposables. Alrighty. So. Oh my goodness, I feel so stupid. Yeah, there's a freaking door here. Oh my goodness, I feel so stupid. Coffin looks like it was hauled down here fairly recently. Look inside. Curious. Alrighty. You're not reading. Sorry. <clears throat> We can we can stop this skull. I don't know why we can stop the other one. Maybe because it was being possessed. Oh, it was being possessed. Oh, meant that bone saw is really handy. Oh yeah, I, that is really nice. I didn't know there were still two of them. Three of them. It's kind of hard to tell with that the. That one um, is still alive. Yeah. hard with how they died. Eh, even five heads aren't better than this one. Womp womp. <laughs> Scald chips and handful of loose cheese. Hooray! Just take it. You got a gold tooth. Uh, this skull is twitching in an unnerving fashion, though I guess there's no way it could be twitching that wouldn't be unnerving. Mm. Stop it. <laughs> I'm... For some reason that went through so fast that I couldn't read it, so... My apologies. Because I didn't click that. Um. No, there's only one. <laughs> Got a gold tooth. Moxie's up. Sweet. Alrighty. Look under it. Souvenir spoon. The skull is resting on top of a commemorative spoon. Your treasure hunting senses are finely honed, though not very discriminating. <laughs> the skull is whispering at you. That doesn't seem right. Listen closely. The skull is whispering at you that it just sounds like gibberish, though really creepy gibberish. There's an... Ah, put it back. That's where this one goes. Okay. Okay. Cool. So that wasn't the um, one for the cases. Just one that was borrowed. This pile of skulls has been cemented together for some reason. Pick it apart. Creepy whispering stone. Weird. <laughs> These bones are jiggling and ranting, rattling in an agitated way. I'm basically finding all of these because I don't know which ones would count towards the um, 
of saints, though I'm assuming they would be more. I doubt they're here. Yeah, um, they're probably a more distinctive place. Though with them moving around, I have no idea. So, you won. That's what you get, you dumb old skeleton. Progress towards next skill. You got skeleton bone times two. Alice picks up the bones and examines them carefully. Hooray! This pile of skulls is strictly decorative. Okay. That would be a first. This way to Pasilo de Santo. Um, I'm assuming there's a saint down there. That is what you're looking for, though. It's a plaque. Read it. <clears throat> Here lies Saint Beefus. After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven. But it was too heavy and just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to inter him in a big stone sarcophagus to put a stop to it. Well... Jesus really knew how to build a heavy stone sarcophagus back then. Open it. You grunt and strain and force him. The heavy stone sarcophagus lid open. There's a skeleton inside. His bones are huge. Fortunately, he appears to be asleep. <laughs> I believe he is one of the saints that we're looking for, so I have to wake him up. Go for it. Holy crap. Hi, Beefus. I'm going to get beefy too. <clears throat> um, attack! I'm going to try the bone saw, though I kind wow, of think... Wow, that didn't do much. I'm going to try. I don't know if it'll work. If it does, this will be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alice! You got a St. Peepus thigh! Yeah! And a and finger. finger! Which you needed! Yes! And safe crack in level 2. Yay! The bigger they are, the harder they excommunicate. <laughs> well. Alice, Alice surveys the scene and jets down some notes in her notebook. Hooray! Alright, cool. So we've got one scene down. Literally. Read it. Here lies Saint Cortada. She was drawn and quartered by a heretics and then quartered and... The quarter that her, her hat on it was beheaded. The dismemberment was so effective that nobody was able to get her body to stay together after she was just bones. Okay. Well, here's the head. The saint appears to be just resting in pieces. <laughs> nope. At the very last minute, the bones fly apart again. Seems like you've accomplished is making them angry. Awesome. Well. Oh, wow. Oh, getting beefy. And stomping. Yeah, that's probably your best bet. Yeah. You're going to take a little bit of damage here, but... It's not too terribly bad right now. So... Oh, I'm glad the pelvis <laughs> didn't do anything. Yeah, just do the stomping. Kill half of them. But Alice will definitely finish them off. Yeah, Alice, I think, will get it. There you go. Sweet. Yay for leveling up! Well done. Now Santa Cortada's piece is so small they can't do any harm. Save crack in level 3. Holy cow, I'm leveling that up really quick. It's the lowest one. We've got it set to keep them balanced, so we're going to load. We're going to okay. be raising that one up more okay. than anything else for a while. You got an item, St. Cortada's skull and St. Cortada's ring. Alice studies the remote of your Oh, hooray! Alrighty. Mind you, if we're needing money, you know, we can transfer over to that one just to get some, but... I am a Pope, seriously. Hi. Can I talk to you? St. Pope stands... <laughs> yep. ...betifically behind the dais. He, he just keeps doing his Pope gestures, ignore you. How can someone looking so smug without even have a face? The longer you watch him, the more he gets on your nerves. Insult him. You unleash a torrent of insults that would make a sailor blush, and a sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. St. Pope's eyes narrow. Looks at like you finally manages to make him mad enough enough to fight you. Alrighty. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that you're not actually a pope? 
Because he's in America? There's never been an American Pope? That is true. Why is that? Because the rest of the world is kind of suspicious of Americans? You put an end to same Pope's heresy once and for all. Progress towards the next skill is, um, foraging. You got an item Pope Felvis. You got an item fake Pope hat. Woohoo! Alice arrays the scene in Judstown notes. Hooray! So in order to solve the quest for this place, we have to go into the basement. Yeah. Of this place. Yeah. These nuns are lazy. Well, they're also nuns. They don't, they don't fight. Thank you for recovering our relics. Please be careful. I saw an empty coffin just inside the catacomb door. Oh, don't worry about that. We're just storing that for an escape artist. An escape artist? Yeah, he was trying to act on the road, but he needed to lighten his luggage, so he gave us a generous donation in exchange for storing it for him. Okay. Return the finger bone of St. Beefus. You return the weirdly huge finger bones to its reliquary. Sister Mary looks delighted. In an empty relic case is a spot for a pelvis. You pop the Pope pelvis back into its Pope pelvis plinther. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> Sister Mary is pleased as punch. It's <laughs> Return the skull of Santa Cortana. You lock the skull back in its glass prison. It seems annoyed, but Sister Mary thanks you usably. Great, you've recovered all of the relics. Kneeling pants. <laughs> I'm glad to have helped you, Sister. I must reward you for your efforts, though. Would you? We don't have much, but you might find these pants handy. One of our old priests left them behind. Thank you. Alrighty, so... What I was going to do was, real quick before we end was I was going to go to the places with saves that safe that I knew about. Okay. So Yeah, we got safe cracking now. Yep, so I knew this one had one. So I was gonna just run in here real quick. And that not in the hat room. I wanna go in the office. And safe cracking. Prototype Stetson. Alrighty. So we got our that, which was probably a prize for the other thing. Um, Fort Cowardice. Yeah, I can forge this. Harvest! Mug of Cactus Papers. Might be in here. Yep. yep. There it is. Correct. Bottle of laudanum and smelling salts. Sweet. You notice the trails of burnt vegetation off the side of the trail, which can only mean one thing. Hellcraft is grazing nearby. Track it down. Alrighty, beef up. It also seems like um, the more you use this stuff, the more it, like, it levels up, so. Yes. Tainted beefsteak. Last time Nubicus mentioned this little button where you click wander and you just randomly go somewhere. So, you find a crate of supplies bound for a nearby army fort. It looks like they fell off the wagon or driver fell off the wagon and was too drunk to strap it down. In any case, it... Looked like it got knocked open by the fall. See what's inside. Ooh. The what? Some, to its military contents, it's not the army cowards I have to use for it. Back use the coward hidely holds. Artillery saber. Yes. Do you want that? It looks nice. Where am I going? Okay. Same place. Apparently I didn't do anything. So, well. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you saw something that we didn't or know a place we should try going, let us know in the comments below. And we will see you guys next time. Good luck. Have fun. Bye. Bye.